we're presenting the results of our phase two study on orazole um, in the treatment of prostate cancer. It was a positive control study comparing orazole to Zomeda injection. We looked at four markers of bone metabolism in the study. The results demonstrated that in the case of all four of those markers, we have um, activity that's basically the same as you get with Zomeda injection. Um, we gave weekly doses over the course of eight weeks of a tablet that delivers the same dose as one dose of Zomeda injection does over the dosing interval. So four tablets given at weekly intervals uh, gives an equivalent dose to a four milligram Zomeda injection, which is the standard that's used in oncology therapy once every three to four weeks. Um, being able to dose it in divided intervals and in an oral basis allows physicians to have greater flexibility in terms of how they dose. Um, so it, it has the potential of improving therapy from a from a pharmacological perspective, as well as certainly improving therapy from a quality of life perspective for patients. We are in the process of pulling together our phase three plans. We've actually met with European regulatory authorities at this point already, and they have agreed that, that to a, a basic plan for carrying out our phase three work. We actually did this study in, in centers both in the US and in Europe and we anticipate that, that likely the phase three work would also occur both in, in um, the Americas as well as in Europe. Well, it will eventually be indicated for the treatment of skeletal related events uh, in patients with metastatic disease. And by that, uh, I mean patients whose tumor has actually gone into the bone. The implications of that is uh, as the tumor grows in bone, uh, you can get fractures, uh, patients will, will feel really quite, uh, quite ill and they could end up under surgery. It will actually prevent uh, the, the growth of the metastases in the bone.